Well, good morning, my Librans. How are you cutie pies doing? It's Friday, it's the weekend. I hope you guys have fantastic plans. I really do. Um, yeah, I just wanna say before, I wanna say thank you Libra for for being uh, there for me this past year. I love, and, I love and appreciate you guys. I love and appreciate your support. And if you haven't yet and you are feeling my vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. I just appreciate each and every one of you. I also, this is like Tarot of the Mystical Moments deck. This is the Tarot of the Abyss. I have the links to these decks down below in the description box. Um, along with other links of popular decks I use. None of these decks are mine. I just, I'm trying to make it easy for you guys to find where, just to go where you can find them. Cause I get asked it enough. And I am doing bonus reads on Sunday, top three viewed highest signs. I'm doing that Sunday afternoon. But okay, Libra, we have a six of wands, Leo energy, a page of swords and air sign, which is you, right? But why, let's see what's below this first. Six of wands, five of wands, the devil. Huh. Why doesn't this look like there's somebody flying away from this? These two energies are alike and somebody's flying away from this. Hierophant and the Emperor. Interesting. Page of Swords though and the Four of Wands reverse. Libra, you're a Libra, Libra. King of Pentacles reverse. You know, I am when that four of wands in this deck comes out because it's the birthday card, because you know they make a four of wands, which is supposed to be strong security and happiness, and they put the birthday because there should be one time a year where you are truly celebrated. I feel like you were maybe back in your birthday season could have been dealing with a super selfish energy that could not stop thinking of themselves. They could have left you high and dry. They could have they could break up. Some of you, I feel like they break up with you right before your birthday and then make up right after. I mean, some cheap ass energy, but page of swords could be you striving for something new. Cause I feel very star card too, or it could be them seeing what you're doing. All right, Libra. So let's see what's going on. This is for Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Yeah. Wheel of fortune, six of wands reverse. You're moving away from things that just kept you stress. That wasn't working for you. It's a new day, a new way and a new you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. If you are a Libra, no Libra. Feel like being a Libra. Libra, this is for you. If you also, if you are dealing with a Libra, you could be any other sign. You could have Libra in your chart and you could be here because the title just felt like, you know, it spoke to you. It could be your story as well because you could have Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with a Libra and you can resonate as the main story. I just want to say that because some people say, uh-uh. Nope, you got it wrong. It's backwards. Well, that may be. Doesn't mean I got it wrong. It's it's in your life. It's it's just right for you and other people. That's just how energy is. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. One more. Okay. One more for my Librans. One more. Four pentacles reverse in the world. Definitely letting something go. Kicking someone out of your house. Literally, some of you are kicking someone out of your house. General energy for my Librans. General energy for my Librans. The moon. Piscean energy. Now, that could be something waiting to be revealed like a present. But the moon is definitely a, a card of intuition of a card of a spiritual connection. It could also be a card of not knowing what's happening and you're lost in the dark. It could be a card of sadness and depression. Each tarot card has no less than 50 meanings. They really don't. And if they're reversed, you got 50 more and if they're next to each other, it's, it's, it's not a one size fits all. So let's see what comes out around it. What's influencing the moon card? What's influencing the moon card for my Librans? The hangman reverse, untying yourself. So some of you, what I feel, if, if your reading was only these two cards, two major arcana, both Piscean cards, isn't that amazing? So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, some a Pisces could be here because they're dealing with a Libra. What's influencing the moon is I feel like you untied yourself to something that probably kept you in the dark, um, that could have gaslit you, that could have kept you stuck in a situation, and you're going into the unknown. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What's the reason for the reading? The $64,000 question. Why are we here? 
the eight, seven of pentacles. Should I stay or should, well, actually it's not even should I stay or should I go. I feel like you are going, but it's what now? What do I do now? I'm, I just left that job. What do I do now? How do I get to the 10? It's funny because she's thinking about, did I do enough? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a time of self-reflection of all the time you put into something. Um, and it's also about where she wants to go. It's a lot, it could be confusion, which is where the moon is. And I honestly feel she sits up there thinking, how do I get to the 10? I'm at the seven. I've been at the seven for some time. How do I get to the 10? How do I make more? You have the answers in your hand, lady. Look, look, see those seeds, which I, this card makes me say that word. And I hate that word because they gross me out. But you see it, you plant them. That's how you get more. It's not, life isn't about a destination. Life is about the action of doing, right? That's why you see billionaires like Elon Musk, he could have retired a long time ago, but he's like, no, 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 now we gotta do SpaceX. No, 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 we gotta do solar panels because life is about constantly creating. That's what your soul wants to do is constantly create. Ace of Pentacles doesn't end once you hit a 10 of Pentacles, then you have another Ace of Pentacles. The, if you sit there and reflect, did I do enough? The answer is always gonna be no, because there's always something you need to do sitting there is not is just not cutting it i mean there's a time of self-reflect sure but the reason for the reading is i feel like what what now or what should i do and the answer would be anything do anything because anything is possible do where your soul wants you to go what's in the past what's in the past for my librans what happened in the past so a lot of you this could be about leaving a job a long-term job behind What's in the past? Four cups reverse. Feeling, actually no, because it's on the same line. Again, you know, cards are a spectrum with a lot of meanings. This could be a card of anxiety, but what I feel like is you're no longer sitting there letting life just happen. Saying, well, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll make the best of it. No, you're choosing to make something more of it. You're no longer going to be happy with what people just deem you who you are. You're going to be who you want to be. You are creating the best version of you. You are consciously creating. You are a creatrix, not just a mag magician, but a creatrix. You are creating your future. And you know what? You may not know what the next few steps are, but you're taking one step and having the security that you're not gonna fall on your face. It's, it's actually a lot of power and a lot of confidence. What's on Libra's mind? King of Cups. You got this. You do. King of Cups. This is whatever it is, you're strong enough to handle it. So if this is a Libra saying, ah, I applied for this job, Stacey. I, I may have built myself up in the resume. I don't know if I can do it. Yes, you can. If this is about a move, well, I don't know where anybody lives there, but you'll be fine. I can tell you, whatever your next step is, you're gonna be more than fine. You're going, this is, you are a healer, you are a spiritual guide, you are meant to help people. That's what the King of Cups, he stands in the ocean strong. And I feel like life has thrown you so many lessons, Libra, not because God wants to um, hurt you or he has a sick sense of humor. It's because those were classes in your life. From the time of childhood up until now, you could have had a string of broken relationships. Uh, a parent who was emotionally unavailable, siblings who were abusive, um, teachers who didn't understand you, you could have been bullied and you're like, what is it? Why did this stuff happen to me? Well, it's because these were each classes in your life. So now you can stand strong and look out at other people who don't have the, 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 the fortification, the, the, the confidence that you now have to help other people. You can see people in need and throw them a lifeboat. This is not somebody who's ever gonna weigh on a, a hand up again, but you will be the hand up for other people. And that's where I think you're deciding to do something about your life. You're no longer going to accept, oh, I owe yous, or I will, yeah, one day. No, Libra says that one day is today, and I'm gonna make this happen. What is the near future for my Librans? What is the near future? Okay, it picked it. It actually was this and this. It was this, 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 this. You know why? Because I think you have to leave something behind to get something more. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Because, oh, look at it at the bottom though. King of Pentacles. You're leaving behind one tree. 
You're leaving behind maybe a job that paid your bills. You're leaving behind a relationship that was, well, you know, they gave me somewhat of what I wanted, uh, but not everything. <clears throat> And she's saying, is there something more out there for me? And your future self says, oh yeah, there is. So, cause you're taking those seeds. Now you're making me say that twice and planting them. And it's not from one tree, your abundance comes, but it's a whole orchard of trees that where this is going. It's because you decided to trust yourself. You made that decision to get off your ass. You made that decision to no longer take, yeah, one day Libra, one day it's gonna be happy. Next life, no, next life is for you. No, Libra says there's nothing wrong with this life. There may have been everything wrong with the energies around me and I'm changing that up. There's nothing wrong with me. I And all the, the past situations that I've been through, I see now it has been for a purpose. It's because I was tested, not because God wanted to push me down, but God wanted to, he clapped every time I stood up. And every time you stood up, you stood up stronger and taller and to the point where nothing will ever have you drowning in your emotions again. That's why I feel like this is for a Libra who is not just meant for success, but you're going to take your success that you're on the road to and have a trickle down to people who, who literally are drowning in their lives, who don't see a way out. This eight of pentacles, look at that king of swords. Look at the growth right now. You're on, on, on path, a transformational path. Some of you just went through a really tough divorce or were in a situation where it just didn't come in your favor. But you know what? What you're doing is releasing something, an idea that you thought was everything and going for so much more. It's it's kind of like you had $5 USD. I don't, you do five pounds, it doesn't matter because I'll get that. Well, what if it's pounds? What if it's euros? Okay, it could be that too. It really could be. But I live here and I just think money, right? In my, my terms. But you could have $5, 5 euros, 5 pounds, 5 jelly beans, okay? You can have 5 jelly beans and you can have them in your hands so tightly because you're so afraid of losing one of them. And God says, open up your fingers. I'm trying to give you more. And you open it up. And yeah, they start to trickle down. But a whole bag comes in. A whole factory so you can make as many as you want come in that is what we're changing out okay you have to be willing to let the something go in exchange for more that's it's just it's just simple as that king of swords and the eight of pentacles all on your way to becoming this king of pentacles and there's your four of wands and your six of wands look at that this is a lot of victory. This is success. This is security. It's because you did it. It's not because somebody gave to you. See the flower in this deck? There's an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Wands as a single flower. It's because you're taking that single flower to make many. You know? It's so, okay. Let's get into clarifying. Let's do it. So this Page of Swords, which feels like the star card in this deck, is, is, the, is the ability to dream for something more. It's for you to say, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I finally, I'm finally, I'm handing myself over to you. I'm ready for, to this future, to your higher self. What is the moon reverse and the, or the moon upright and the hangman reverse? And the moon can be the fear of the unknown. And you could have fear, Libra, but you, and you know what? That would make you human. Everybody has fear, but successful people take that, they're, they have fear, but they do it anyway. They use that fear as a driving fuel to, to, to find out why am I afraid of this? You know, fear can also keep you in place and keeping you in place would cause depression. So you would rather have that fear as you move forward than be stuck in depression, which I feel if you stay, reason for the reading, you have an option to stay where you are. But I'm telling you, if you go, your options are limitless. What is the moon and the hangman reverse for my Librans? What is the moon doing here and the hangman reverse for my Librans? The moon and the hangman reverse. What is that? Pisces and Pisces. And the eight of swords reverse. Eight of swords reverse is you releasing yourself from a self-made prison. These bandages you could have got out any time. Nothing was really keeping you here but you because of fear. And what you're untying yourself to is an old standard, a standard that says, you know, I can only be this. 
I, I, I didn't go to college, so I must be made to only make minimum wage. Or I, I'm not as educated as my peers, so therefore I must live a certain type of life. It's a standard that you actually put on yourself, but now you're blowing away those standards to now to reach for something more with that page of swords. You are realizing that where I put my standards is what I'm trying to reach to. So make sure you put those standards extremely high as, as un, right now, if you do it and you might be like, well, that's impossible. Allow yourself to believe the impossible will be possible. Then it will be happening because seven of pentacles, I feel like is a, is a, it's an okay standard. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I feel like you're doing, you're doing okay, but you dream of doing something better. Ten of Swords Reverse and the Ace of Swords Reverse. And this is the cold, hard truth. Now remember the reverse, okay? But I'm showing you so you see it. This Ten of Swords is why things have happened. Why you've gone through such a tough time in life. Why did Libra constantly go from one shit pile to the next? This is looking at it and being wiser for it. This is saying, you know, I get it now. I If I didn't go through these lessons, I could never be the true King of Cups that I'm going to be. I would have been a Knight of Cups. I would have been a dreamer. But it's because what these life lessons, and there's so many situations that were just within hand reach, but fear kept you from reaching for it. What it did, I feel, is made you hungry. It's hunger that makes an Ace of Swords possible. With this, Ten of Swords Reverse and the Ace of Swords Reverse is understanding why the delay happened. Why the delay for this new beginning is because you had just a lot of life lessons to learn. I feel like I'm speaking to a Libra that has just had a shit storm of a life. And so see, you could look at this two ways. See the tree behind her? You can think that it was once very abundant and it lost a lot of its leaves. Or you can see one lesson at a time, a new leaf is growing. That's what I feel the delay is. One by one, your leaves are growing. One by one, you are becoming who you are always meant to be. And now by knowing it, you can take your past hurt and make it your life's mission. You can help those in need. You can write motivational books. You can be a motivational speaker. You can go be a teacher. And, 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 um, and uh, I can't think inner city schools, you know, and, but you, you can take your past and make a better future, not just for you, Libra, but it's for other people. That's what I feel. There's other people attached to your mission. What is the Seven of Pentacles, the reason for the reading? Taurian energy. What is the Seven of Pentacles, the reason for the reading? It was stuck to me. It was the full reverse. Thinking, am, should I stay or should I go, is really, it's not about, am I happy here? I think we know that you would be happy here, but it's the fear of you negotiating with yourself is what's keeping you there. It's the fear that's causing you. This is like kind of like midlife crises, I think. Um, not that you you might be too young for a midlife crisis. You might you you may in have passed that twenty years ago. You might be a late blooming midlife crisis, but this is for a Libran who negotiates their own happiness. What they really want is here but they have a fear of falling off this tree. They have a fear that they won't be able to do this. They have a fear of what people will think. I don't even know if you even care so much what people think, but it's, it's more importantly, am I going to lose those five jelly beans if I open my hand and let my grip go? Will there really be something more coming? And because you don't know that with the moon, you decide to sit here, and even though it's fear driving you from getting off that tree, you will kind of substitute or give you yourself small little um, reasons why you should stay. Well, it's a, it's a safe place, you know? I, I have always wanted to live on the West Coast or East Coast, but you know, there's no, there's no like fires here. So this is a safe place. You start negotiating the reasons. Um, this is a great grocery store on the corner, so. I, who knows where I'm going to go if they're going to have, you know, those prices. You start negotiating yourself with really kind of stupid things when you look back. And it's, it's reasons to keep you, it's really reasons to keep you there. Because intu intuitively, your higher self, you probably even dream of this, that you know you're going to be this. And it's not that you can't handle it, but it's that fear and the unknown. If I open my hand, will I lose it all? And that might be too much. And look, 
What did I say with that page of swords? It looks like the star. Both cards are reaching for something more. And I feel like you're going to reach for something more. No longer stuck in the past. You're now looking towards the future. Five of Cups reverse. Okay, what is the Four of Cups reverse in the past for my Librans? What is the Four of Cups reverse Cancerian energy in the past for my Librans? What is that? Four of Cups reverse in the past. And the Two of Wands needing to make a decision. Actually, I feel like you are making a decision. <laughs> This hair is like so wild, but this is you making a decision to leave the old version of you behind the version of waiting to be noticed. Um, I've been at this job for seven years. I'm, I'm sure my boss will notice my hard work one day. No, you are making it happen. You're just saying, you know, I have been here seven years. I think I'm a pretty damn good employee. There's a position that's coming up. I want to apply. That is what I'm talking about. That's being confident. That's taking, you're putting your future in your own hands and doing something with it. You're no longer waiting for someone to give you something. All right. What is the King of Cups on Libra's mind? Scorpio energy and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, where is that card? Did I put it back? The, yeah, it was the Ace of Swords. Why did I put that back? I think it was at the bottom of the deck. Anyway, remember I said the tree, is it either losing leaves? No, I think it's growing leaves. Look at this. King of Cups. Look at that tree. Look how abundant that tree is. Here, she's sitting on the tree. And here, she decides to get off and plant. And her dreams are now becoming her. It's amazing because when you look at this hangman, if it was upright, even though it's reversed, if it was upright, this is a person kind of pulling themselves back because they, you know, they know what they want, but they're not quite sure how to get it quite yet. So they're pulling themselves back to get that perspective. But you see what she's trying to reveal, what she wants is now become, it, it has become her doesn't matter how long she sits. These two energies is about sitting and waiting. The future is already you. It's already existed. So the longer it takes for you to get on this path, the longer the delay is to get your kingdom, to get your abundance, to get your security. So you're better off not putting off tomorrow what can be done today, but start today. So this hangman, that's why the hangman in the center of the reading is reversed. Because she's saying, you know, even though I might be scared, I'm doing it anyway. Even if I don't know the next step, I'm, I'm taking that step anyway. Because it's already me. My dream of sitting here has really, it's always bed me. I'm a part of it. I can't ignore this any longer. King of Cups is when you know who you are, you will know exactly what you want. And then people can't come into your life and tell you what you should want because you already know you. That takes care of that. What is the 10 of pentacles reverse, upright, reverse, upright, and now sideways in the near future? What is the 10 of pentacles sideways here in the near future? What is the 10 of pentacles sideways in the near future? And honestly, when it, it, I saw it flip, 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 but it was reversed, but you, ha you have to let go of what's not working for you so some something new can be allowed in and what's not working for you is being in seven of swords reverse is this is almost i never get this definition on this card but it's being afraid to try because people have manipulated you in the past people have ghosted you people have lied to you and reverse is it's old energy you can think about it and what if there's people like that where I'm going? What if in this new job, if, if people don't like me? Well, you know what? That's probably going to be the case wherever you go. There's always going to be people that won't like you. There's always going to be people who don't simply care. It's what how you feel about you. That's the only thing that matters. You stay in focus on your Ten of Pentacles. You stay in focus on having this one day. You being clear on what you deserve in life and what you don't. See how that star card was reaching for something more. She reached not only just for the stars, but she took the stars and put them on her and sewed them on her. So she will never lose her way again. She'll also be a beacon of light for other people. Okay, give me another card there. Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords Reverse, which is Aquarian Energy. Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords Reverse. And the Ten of Cups. Look at that, out of nowhere, somebody holds, grabs her hand. That one Ten of Pentacles reverses, releasing something. Well, it's actually in this card. Um, releasing something to grab something else. Look at that. You're letting go. You're letting go of one thing, but something grabs your hand. It could be God even to say, hey, no, no, no. 
You come over here. I got a better, I got a better path for you. Because you trusted me, I have another path for you. I need to make good on this. What is this Ten of Cups, Piscean energy? What is this Ten of Cups, Piscean energy? And the three, look at that. So many cards of letting something go. Something that kept you back. Something that kept you in the dark. And this could even be you, Libra. This is you. This could be your fears. Letting your fears go. A people who once hurt you. And being brave enough to grab your future self's hand. Your future self is trying to pull you there towards the sun out of the moon. Because there's the sun in the background. Give me another card there. This is a beautiful reading. What, what to title it, I don't know. But it's a beautiful reading. What is the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords? I felt this here when I first said that about the Ten of Pentacles. You're not going to allow people to tell you who you are or what you want. You already know. You're really clear. And once you know who you are, nobody can come around and sit there and tear you down. They can't gaslight you anymore. Your Queen of Swords is out. You have healthy boundaries. But your Queen and King of Swords, which is your masculine and feminine energy, are in sync. They're upright and they're strong. This is when you can't do anything but succeed. You are clear on what you want. What you want is a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups, right? What did I do here? I put the Ten of Cups up here. What you want is both. Maybe what you thought is you had to give up one to have the other. What you want is both. What you want is a career, success, and a happy life and a children, and a marriage, and a, a house. I want it all. This is a Libra that says, I want it all. I'm no longer going to try to convince myself to be happy where I'm not really happy. I'm not, the, the biggest liars we face are ourselves. You're no longer gonna lie to yourself. You're going to give yourself permission to go for this. Will people not like it? Oh, of course they won't like it because they can't do it. But that's the difference between failures and and successful people because successful people do what failures won't do not that they can't do but they won't do and you're saying you know that you do you and i will always be here for you especially if this is family but i need to do me and i'm not looking for your permission to do me i'm i already gave myself permission so it's not that you're cutting people out per se but you're listening to yourself you're going along with your intuition even if it scares you you're doing it anyway all right, my Librans, I hope you have a great, great weekend. I will see you next week. I love you guys to death. Take care.